this is a problem from the JEE advanced exam 2010 we must compute this limit as x approach 0 of 1 over x cube times the integral from 0 to x of t times ln 1 plus t over t powers of 4 plus 4 okay my advice is that you don't want to compute this integral directly that will be very tedious so we will do it another way okay so first we write it as this i just put the integral as the numerator and x cube as the denominator and now let us analyze the function t times ln 1 plus t over t powers of 4 plus 4 Now, if I plug in t equals 0, the value will be 0. That is easy to check because we have t times ln 1 plus t will be 0. And the denominator is 4. Denominator is 4. So it will be 0. f0 is 0. And this means that as x approach 0, this integral from 0 to 0, that, that will be 0. Right? because f0 is 0 now this will be 0 as I have mentioned before this limit will be 0 and also the denominator limit of x cubed will be 0 right so we have the form of 0 over 0 our limit here has the form 0 over 0 this suggests that we might want to use the L'Hopital, although it is not always successful, but we can use that. That is one method. Okay, so again here, this limit has the form 0 over 0, so let us try to use the L'Hopital. Let's start with the numerator. We want to find the first derivative of this, but this is an integral. So how can we compute the first derivative of this integral? This is not just the regular function. So we can do that by using the fundamental theorem of calculus, which says that if we have this integral from 0 to x of some function f t dt, then if we take the first derivative of this, that will be equal to the function itself big f x is actually our num numerator here you can see here the integral is from 0 to x and we have the function here this will be the small f t dt so this the derivative will be equal to x times ln 1 plus x over x powers of 4 plus 4 and as for the denominator that is easy the first derivative is just 3x squared. Now let us evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of the first derivative of the numerator and the first derivative of the denominator of the original fraction, right? And we have computed the first derivative in the previous slide, that is this, for each, right? Simplify this. So it will be exactly like this. And what is this limit? Let us try to plug in x equals 0 first into this limit. We get that ln 1 plus 0 will be 0 because it is just ln 1. And the denominator, you can easily check here, it is obviously 0 when x is 0. So again, it has the form 0 over 0. So we can try L'Hopital also for this limit. Use L'Hopital again. The limit of the first derivative of ln 1 plus x and the first divided by the first derivative of 3x powers of 5 plus 12x. That is easy. We have 1 over 1 plus x for the numerator and 15x powers of 4 plus 12 for the denominator. And if you plug in if you plug in x equals 0 numerator is just 1 
and the denominator is exactly 12 so we have this limit is 1 over 12 so this L'Hopital is successful and which means that this limit here limit of x as x approach 0 of ln 1 plus x over 3x plus of 5 plus 12x is 1 over 12 and since this limit is equal to the limit of this of our of our first L'Hopital here so we get that our first L'Hopital is also actually successful and this is our limit that we want to compute so by using L'Hopital twice we get that the final answer is 1 over 12 this limit as x goes to 0 of this function is 1 over 12